that is the most fun thing. I mean, you have these in, incredible characters and to be able to see them in this different form, but yeah. you still recognize what you love about them, but it's like it's just all on its side. It's like a tribute artist. Right, but right. It's, the, mm-hmm. it's like if, if uh, but the Blues Brothers were being played by the Blues Brothers. First of all, guys, I am super honored to be speaking with you guys. Amazing job. I absolutely love SpongeBob SquarePants presents the tidal wave. It is fantastic. Um, it really pays homage to the Twilight Zone in a, in a really fun way. Um, for all of you guys, and we'll start with you, Bill, uh, what was your favorite uh, episode or, or little story to do? Well, I love the framework, as you mentioned, with the Twilight Zone of having this live action character with the diving helmet and all that stuff. It, it really, it frames it up nicely. And I think resonates to anyone who's had the good fortune to watch that series. Um, I, you know, I really enjoy, oddly enough, I, I love the, I love the, when they were all robots, it was, it tickled me because it was the creative work that went into the look of the mm-hmm. characters and, and how they interacted and how they're, everyone's homes and the, and the, the crusty crab was this mechanical device and all this stuff. I uh, think it's, it's, it's really packed with, I think, and a tribute to the enormous creativity of our writers and storyboard artists. I was going to say the same answer, not because I'm a copycat, but because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's nice to see. So I've been, I played Karen on SpongeBob and I, you know, was, She's a computer, but kind of a robot, too, with her legs and her little her stand and her wheels and everything. And it's kind of fun to see the other characters as robots. It's fun to see SpongeBob. It's fun to see SpongeBob, you know, chopping, you know, being like an efficient robot version of himself. When I saw that, I was like... And the human character. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that... that it was so it's, cool. It is fun. It's fun to see... It's always fun to see a character that you're so familiar with drawn or presented differently, you know? Sure. I'm, and I bet it's really fun for the animators because it's sure fun like for us to see. I'm going to say I should have answered first because I had the same answer as everybody oh else. It would have seemed a lot more. Uh, no, that I mean, that is the most fun thing. I mean, you have these in, incredible characters and to be able to see them in this different form. But yeah. you still recognize what you love about them. But it's like it's just all on its side. It's like a tribute artist. Right, it's right. Still the, mm-hmm. It's like if, if, uh, but the Blues Brothers were being played by the Blues Brothers. Right. right. <laughs> well, Peter, I'll give you a chance to answer this one first because Tom not only did the voice of SpongeBob, Gary, and the French narrator, but correct me if I'm wrong, he also was the voice director for this as well. Um, what did Tom's directing style add to titles of Energy, baby. Or as <laughs> Jill refers to it, the Kennergy. He brings right. energy to the table. Yeah. <laughs> no one is more enthousi- more enthusiastic about it than Tom. It's it's infectious. It would be hard to show up to record and be in a bad mood. Right. right. Because you'll slip you'll quickly be pulled out of it, whether you want to or not. Now, Jill, Patrick and Karen swap bodies during one of the episodes. What other characters would you like to see swap bodies? I want to swap bodies with Plankton. I mean, yeah, I think it would be really funny to have like Plankton be be big for a, a change and see what that did for him. Um, yeah, I would probably pick Plankton. Bill, was there any uh, any of the universes that you guys had in Title Zone that you'd like to explore more of? Okay, the Patrick Show is so much fun, you know. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to see the Patrick Show, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I got to tell you, with all the different things we've been doing, I kind of I, I miss just. SpongeBob and Bikini Bottom <laughs> a little bit, you know. So I'm always, I've always kind of get kind of tingly when we go back to uh, yeah, just a uh, straight. It's up just SpongeBob. a fun. I don't think it's missing it as much as it's like it's the OG. Sure. There's like an OG love for that, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Just the simplicity of Squidward's. You know, in need to get beaten up. Yeah, <laughs> where he always gets tortured because of his own miserable uh, right. self. Well, look, you guys did a phenomenal job. I absolutely love this. Uh, me and my seven year old love SpongeBob. Oh, it's great. amazing. So, thank you guys for your time. I am truly honored to speak with all of you. Thank you so much. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye, Bye Joseph. It.